This is the story of Danny, who uses a technique called deep breathing to help cope with anxiety and stress. Many people use deep breathing to help them relax and calm down when they're feeling upset or stressed. Follow Danny's story to learn how deep breathing works. Danny is excited about starting at a new school this year. It's an opportunity for Danny to learn, make new friends, and play sports. Danny will be attending classes at school and some virtual classes from home. <laughs> On the morning of Danny's first virtual class, Danny wakes up early. After breakfast, it's time for Danny to log into class. Danny sees the teacher and a couple of students on video. But then, Danny notices something very upsetting. What the? The on-screen name listed is Danny's birth name, not the name Danny identifies with. Danny frantically searches for a way to change the name online. There doesn't seem to be any way to change it. Danny quickly messages the teacher. Oh, good. She's writing back. Hopefully she can fix it. I'm so sorry, but it's school policy to use a student's legal name? I can't change your name unless it's been legally changed. You've got to be kidding me. This is so unfair. I shouldn't have to deal with this. People are going to make fun of me. Despite this, Danny has to continue attending virtual classes. Over time, Danny suffers a lot of anxiety. The buildup of tension and stress causes Danny to breathe more quickly. Danny also develops neck and shoulder pain. When you're upset, you tend to breathe more rapidly and take more shallow breaths. This sends a signal to your body to be on alert for danger and leads to more stress. Deep breathing is a special way of breathing that tells your body to do the opposite. Relax. Deep breathing can make you feel calmer and ease the aches and pains in your body. When you're calm, you can think more clearly and better handle stressful situations. Breathing in your belly rather than in your chest allows your lungs to expand and take in the oxygen they need. That signals your body to relax. First, choose a comfortable position. Sit, stand, or lay down on your back. Next, place one hand over your heart and the other on your belly, just below your rib cage. Now, it's time to do the breathing. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose while thinking the phrase, I am calm. Next, hold your breath while you count to five. Then, breathe out through your mouth while thinking the phrase, I am breathing stress out. As you continue to breathe in and out slowly, notice how your hands rise and fall. The goal is to have the hand over your heart remain still while the hand on your belly moves with each deep breath you take. Imagine filling your belly with the air you breathe in, like a balloon. Then, as you exhale, Imagine pushing all of that air from your belly out through your mouth. To allow your body to completely relax, repeat the belly breathing for 10 breaths. This feels really awkward. Uh, I'm not sure it's even working. That's normal. Deep breathing takes practice. Over time, it'll become more natural. It's also important to practice often so it becomes part of your routine. Oh, I see. I could probably practice before my online class in the morning and before I go to bed. And once you're more comfortable with deep breathing, 
you can do it anytime, anywhere, without people even noticing. That's cool. I also found it difficult to focus. I kept getting distracted. That's normal too. When you notice your mind wandering, bring your thoughts back to the present moment, to your breathing. Ready to try once more? Sure, but I'm going to try it on the couch this time. Okay, now, deep breath in. Breathe in calm. Feel your belly rise. Now, very slowly breathe out. Breathe out stress. Feel that stress leave your body out through your mouth. Is it normal to feel dizzy after breathing so much? It sure is. If you feel lightheaded after breathing this way, taking a few deep breaths into your hands should help. It's also a sign to take a break. What's so great about deep breathing is it helps you stay in the present moment and remain calm. And staying calm improves the way you feel and makes handling stressful situations a little bit easier. Maybe I can meet with the principal to talk about changing the policy. Now that you've learned the steps for deep breathing, explore other skills in this series that can be helpful to you.